Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I got another slightly used cowboy boot find here from shopgoodwill.com that I was able to get an awesome deal on because it was misspelled in the posting. This is a Larry Mahan smooth ostrich boot and I was able to win it with an $11 bid because it was posted as Larry Mohans. <laughs> Stick around, let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya on my way. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. If you're new here, please take this moment to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. As many of you know, I really like shopping for used cowboy boots on secondhand marketplaces like Shop Goodwill, eBay, Poshmark, and then I like to share those findings with you because I learn something new every time. And this time, I was able to learn that I can find an awesome deal on a misspelled posting. Larry Mahan is a classic brand of cowboy boots. This is an exotic two with a smooth ostrich leather and I was able to win them with a bid of $10.99 and I was the only bid because I found the misspelling of a Larry Mohan. Of course, it's Larry Mahan, but it makes it less findable for people out there when these postings are misspelled. And I wanna share that with you guys because you can find some epic deals on boots that are posted with misspelled names. And we're gonna break down the details of this boot in a second, but first I wanna thank today's sponsor, Beauty Show. Beauty Show is a global online retailer of men's clothing and they have lots of different styles to fit anyone's wardrobe. And they sent me a few things that I'd like to show you quick, including this Henley that I'm wearing and this white Henley as well. They're a little bit more lightweight than some of the other Henleys that I have, but they're gonna be really nice for early to late spring and fall. And I really like this one here, especially, which they call their Vintage Adventurer shirt. It's got an extra amount of buttons. I'm a huge fan of buttons on Henley. Super impractical, but what can I say? I love it. They also sent me this Czech Wanderer jacket here, which is, again, very, very lightweight. It's almost all polyester, which is why it's so light, but it's surprisingly warm for being so light. And it has like this shearling sort of fabric on the inside, which is very warm. In fact, the only thing that uh, I'm not so much a fan of on this is that like many of the jackets from global retailers, the buttons are backwards from what we're used to here in America. So it takes me a minute to get used to it. I gotta like switch my brain on a little bit more and that can be a little bit difficult in the mornings, you guys know, but uh, once I get this on, I, I really like wearing it. I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. You guys can see more of what B.O.D. Show has at B.O.D show.com I got the links in the description huge thanks to them for supporting the channel today now let's get into the details of this Larry Mahan smooth ostrich boot with the rundown all right this is a Larry Mahan smooth ostrich roper and that smooth ostrich is on the foot and the counter. Smooth ostrich is such an underrated ostrich leather. You have the features of full quill ostrich, so it's very soft, very supple, super durable, but you don't have the quills, or as many of the quills. As you can see, there are some little semi-quills here from the little feathers that uh, might go onto the belly. Another name for smooth ostrich is ostrich belly as well and that's one way that you can identify it is that it has very small quills or just by the deep wrinkles that you get from it. This Larry Mayhan Roper also features a round toe, which is pretty standard for the Roper style. It comes in at 10 inches tall with a very simple top. Down here, we got about a one inch stacked leather heel. Again, very standard for Ropers. Down on the bottom, we have a leather outsole and it doesn't have very much wear. This is what I mean when you guys should be looking for slightly used cowboy boots on these websites. This is only slightly used and you can tell because the top and the side of the sole is still black. The outsole is also sewed onto the boot with a 360 welt, also known as a full welt, which is again, pretty standard 
four ropers, there's no lemon wood pegs down here or nails, and you really don't need that when the welt goes all the way around the boot. On the inside, we got a leather lining and it appears to be pigskin on the top, but then around the foot, it's a much softer leather that feels to be cowhide. For an insole, you got a non-removable cloth insole, which is very much different from what I've seen in other Larry Mayhans. Uh, it's not as durable as some of the traditionally made Larry Mayhans that just have the hard leather insole. Uh, this is not what I like the best, but still the rest of the boot seems to be made very well. Larry Mahan boots were made in the USA. Unfortunately, they're not making boots anymore. They still make hats, but a lot of people really love their boots when they made them, and you can see why. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got this smooth ostrich Larry Mahan ropers on right now, and the first thing that comes to mind when I'm wearing these is the weight. They're very, very light. Ostrich boots usually are pretty light. I mean, it's a very light leather to begin with, uh, but these are also ropers, so there's less material overall anyways. The ostrich leather is what you want in an ostrich leather. It's really supple, really soft, and it looks really good too. The size here is an 11XE which I'm assuming means an 11 wide, similar to what a double E would be for many brands. But it's fitting well here on me um, because I feel like Larry Mahan ran a little bit narrow when they were making boots. I mean, I tried a Larry Mahan before that was a double E and it wasn't as wide as I thought it was gonna be and not as wide as other double E boots that I've tried in the past. So. I think that they just run a little bit more narrow compared to modern brands and the way that they fit. And when I told my wife that it felt a little bit more narrow than what 11 E should feel like, uh, she agreed that Larry Mahan runs a little bit narrow for her. She has two Larry Mahans that are more traditionally made and the same size as many of her other boots and she said that they're definitely a little bit snug and more narrow than other boots the same size. All right, here's the POV. Gotta love that black color, gotta love that round toe. It's very simple, and that's what you gotta love about ropers, is that they're very simple with that lower heel, the round toe. Many of them, even with cowhide or calfskin, lack the bug and wrinkle or toe bug that you'll find on a lot of cowboy boots. So it's a very nice entry level, Western style boots for folks who are looking to get into cowboy boots, but don't really wanna take that full cowboy boot step and get into boots with larger heels and Western stitching on the toe. You gotta love it. All right, guys, I really like these Larry Mahan Smooth Ostrich Ropers, especially for the price that I got them for at $30. The only thing that I don't like about this model of Larry Mahan is that it has a non-removable cloth insole. I will probably put in a small insole on top of that just because it's gonna wear down really fast. And because this is a wider width, I have the room to do that. So that way I can protect that cloth insole from wearing down really quickly, which they tend to do anyways. And I'll be able to fill out the space of this boot a little bit more. So it ended up working out that this is more of a wider size. I also think that Smooth Ostrich is such an underrated leather. It definitely gets overshadowed by the other two types of ostrich leather being the ostrich leg and the full quill ostrich for sure. But it has all of the same features of full quill ostrich, super thin, super supple, durable, super soft. It feels great. It just doesn't have the huge quills on there, right? Usually smooth ostrich comes with a lower price point as well because it doesn't have the looks of the full quill and the ostrich leg and I think you're getting a lot for your money there with a smooth ostrich boot, especially if you can find it on a misspelled post. Keep a lookout on these used websites for folks who are just putting up boots that they don't know anything about and misspelling names in the titles. You guys can find some awesome deals, just like what I found 
these Larry Mahan smooth ostrich rubbers for at $30. Uh, it's a hunt, but if you stick with it, you can find your own kind of Larry Mahan smooth ostrich, or should I say Larry Mohan. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I love you guys for coming back each and every week. I hope you have a spectacular day, and I will see you next time. Peace. Will, 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 I got a great deal since it's misspelled. And that ostrich looks great, can't you tell? Well, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Wanted to check out this other video about a pair of Larry Mayhans that I looked at. Deerskin. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.